and there's a little uh, rubber gasket here, one here and one on the top, so it's just like a bumper, so it prevents the thing from bumping in too hard. And the way these work is you have this little slider, and this is glued to the string, so the string uh, goes up here uh, around the wheel, around the second wheel, goes back down here, I got another wheel, and this here is like a, um, a fishing rod, so it uncoils and, and recoils back on the other side. And yeah, that's the string coming out again. And here you have a little disc with a bunch of holes in it. And the way these work is when the fader is all the way, uh, well, when, when you power on the unit, it moves the fader all the way up. And then it moves it all the way down again, like this. And in here you got the sensor, which just uh, shines a light through those little holes and counts how many times the, uh, the light gets interrupted. Like there's a little photo sensing um, sensor on the other side. It's just like a digital camera with one pixel and it registers quite quickly actually how many times the light gets interrupted by those holes as the fan moves. And it just counts the holes and it knows where the fader is and how many holes it has to move until it's back down, for instance. So this is how this works. Pull those back in and try it out. And when I switch it on, it should go up and down. Aha, success. Okay, um, yeah, by the way, this little uh, flex cable here this is to conduct the electricity from your finger. So when you touch this part right here, uh, this little, it, like there's current going through your body through this, this little wire, and this is how it knows when you touch it. So let's just do it again for fun. And you can see the little holes going on here. Part off. 